This is so crazy and I'm still trying to keep up with twice a week posting while also being in college. 2019 wasn't a great year for you, Olivia Jade. Being a teenager who is ready for college is tough enough, but then the news of your parents' bad decision hit. It's not clear how much you knew about the admission scandal, but you were just a kid. It wasn't your fault. That didn't stop the haters on the internet, though. We just wish they realized that there's a lot more to you than that bad press. We really admire how you've overcome this setback and continued to do what you do best. A part of me is like, should I come back to YouTube? right now. Olivia Jade has been a successful hair and makeup YouTuber for quite a while. So when the media found out about the college admission scandal, the internet went crazy. But we're here to tell you everything you need to know about Olivia Jade. No, don't cry. Your makeup, don't cry. Olivia Jade joined YouTube on June 19th, 2014. She had a passion for hair and beauty, and she decided to share it with the world. No. Anything that has to do with beauty, that's kind of what this channel is going to be devoted to. Her videos were relatable, which made her really popular among teen girls. Even though her parents are famous, she really came across like a friend. She also vlogged about other aspects of her life. She posted lots of content with her mom, Lori Lachlan. It's clear that these two are very close. The mom and daughter videos were always a hit, and it helped to pull in even more subscribers. Olivia lives a glamorous life, which appealed to her audience, but she was always down to earth. Olivia has nearly 2 million subscribers on YouTube. It's mostly hair and makeup, but she also talks about fashion, her life, and even does YouTube challenges. Her mom might be an actress, but Olivia takes after her designer father. The success of her YouTube channel led to Olivia being a popular social media influencer. Thank you guys so much for watching my morning routine. I love you guys. Also, don't forget to like, comment. Most of Olivia's fans are Gen Z girls. The younger generation might not be familiar with her parents, but everyone else is. Olivia's mom is Lori Lachlan. Lori is best known for her time on the sitcom Full House. She played Aunt Becky from 1988 until 1995. Come on, little froggy mama. <laughs> and she reprised her role on Fuller House a few years later. Lori became a TV star after that. She usually played the cool but caring mom or aunt figure, and it seems like that persona carried over into her real life. Lori also starred in shows like Summerland and the 2008 reboot of 90210. Most recently, she was on What Calls the Heart. Olivia's dad is a fashion designer. His name is Massimo Genui. Fans of Target will recognize him from his brand, Massimo. His stylish but affordable clothes and shoes have been in Target stores for years. Massimo and Lori have been married since 1997. They have an older daughter named Isabella. Olivia is the youngest of their two girls. This is why we can't travel together. We bad idea. so bad. If you're a YouTube star or any sort of entrepreneur, it's important to take risks. However, those risks should never affect your safety while driving. Olivia hasn't always made the best decisions in her videos. Sometimes she films herself singing and dancing while she's behind the wheel. I'm home. I'm obsessed with Queen. It's actually an issue. That's super dangerous. In 2017, she was filming a vlog in her car. She was on her way to the salon and she was dancing and singing. While she was at a red light, she was hit from behind by a truck. She blasted the driver for not paying attention and begged for people to always be aware while driving. But fans were quick to point out the irony in that situation. She had not been paying attention at all while she was driving. Olivia apologized and said that she realized that it could have been her that hit someone. She promised to never film or use her phone while driving ever again. We really hope that she learned that lesson because unsafe driving is no joke. First little car accident. I'm okay, I'm a little bit sore and my head hurts a tiny bit. Fans of Olivia's makeup videos knows that she loves good quality makeup, and Sephora has always been one of her favorites. So the first shade I'm going to show you guys from the Sephora collection cream lip stains is... Sephora stores are found all over North America. They carry many different brands of makeup. Sephora often partners with celebrities and social media influencers. In 2018, Sephora partnered with Olivia Jade to make a new line of cosmetics. She worked with them to create a line of color palettes. She even posted a video of the creation and selection process for the colors. People loved the products and plenty of other makeup YouTubers posted reviews. The line launched in December of 2018, but the success was short-lived. After the college scandal broke, people were upset at Sephora for their partnership with Olivia. They ended up canceling their deal and pulling her products from their store almost overnight. It was a huge setback for Olivia. Your makeup, don't cry. I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. In early 2019, there were reports of a bunch of celebrities who had bribed colleges to get their kids admitted. 
Lori Loughlin was one of the biggest names in the scandal, but it looks like Olivia might have accidentally caused the backlash. Question about college, and I said like, oh, I'm not excited to do the schoolwork. Before she went to college, she had tweeted that school was hard because she didn't care about learning, but then she got into the University of Southern California. USC is a prestigious school, so this didn't match up. She posted a video about how she was feeling about college. She said she didn't really care about the school part, but that she wanted to experience game days and college parties. She even missed the first week of school for a vacation in Fiji. Yeah, not the best look. People were quick to comment on her attitude about school because there are tons of people who really want an education from USC. But Olivia loves a good party. When her parents were arrested, she was actually partying on a yacht with a friend. Really disappointed in myself. I'm not here to make excuses or whatever. No matter what Olivia thought about school, she was just a kid when all this happened. She might be a young adult now, but her parents are really the ones responsible. In early 2019, a huge investigation broke about college admissions. It appeared that many wealthy people, including celebrities, had helped their children get admitted to college. Many of these kids were admitted as athletes since they didn't have the grades to get in, but none of these kids actually played sports. Olivia was admitted to USC as a member of the crew team, but she had never competed in rowing at all. None of her Days in the Life videos mentioned it. Her parents sent in a couple of staged photos of her rowing, but USC didn't verify it at all. She looks qualified to me. I agree. Very studious. Then even more came to light. Lori Loughlin and Massimo Genui had paid over half a million dollars in bribes to get Olivia into USC. This was highly illegal. They were arrested and got out on a million dollar bond. Both Lori and Massimo pled not guilty. This means they could face up to 50 years in prison each. It's unlikely that they'll get the maximum sentence, but jail time is still on the table. What is Olivia Jade doing these days? Keep watching to find out. I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> Legal battles are tricky. When there's an ongoing investigation and trial, the people involved can't talk about it. I'm legally not allowed to speak on anything going on right now. There's no doubt that Lori and Massimo were just trying to help their daughter, but in the end, they just ended up hurting her. People got really nasty on social media and YouTube. Olivia has not been investigated since she was just a teenager. It's unclear how much she actually knew about what her parents were doing, but people on the internet have continued to blame her. I try and not read the comments. They called her terrible names and wished horrible things on her. She actually had to disable comments on all of her accounts. Olivia didn't post on social media for several months. She also took a long hiatus from YouTube. Although there was nothing legal stopping her from doing tutorials, she didn't make a video for nearly nine months. I want to come back because I want to come back. These days, there are a bunch of celebrities who are just social media influencers. A social media influencer has a lot of followers. They often get sponsorships from companies, which helps those companies advertise. Influencers can make several thousand dollars from a single post. But the problem with being an influencer is how easy it is to lose everything. Olivia's YouTube success enabled her to become a social media influencer. She had a ton of brand partnerships in addition to Sephora. She worked with Amazon, Smile Direct Club, Tresemme, and Marc Jacobs. She repped Dolce & Gabbana and Clinique. She even had her own clothing line with Princess Polly. That's just a few of the companies that she worked with. Today, Amazon is coming to shoot some of my room. Amazon paid for everything that she decorated her dorm with at USC. Of course, she's the daughter of two famous people, so she could afford her own stuff. But that's the glorious life of an influencer. Thanks to her videos and social media posts, Olivia is worth a million dollars. But since the scandal broke, most of these companies have dropped their partnerships with her. This is the greatest investment. It's not just Olivia's college application that had a scandal. It's also an application for trademark with the US government. Shortly before the admission scandal broke, Olivia had announced her own brand of makeup. She wanted to trademark the company. Makeup is such a strong passion of mine. Doing that requires a formal application with the US government, and everything has to be in perfect order. But the government rejected her application. She had so many grammatical errors that were mostly missing punctuation marks. There was also not enough detail about the moisturizer and concealer. Did she fill it out herself? If she hired an attorney to do it, we hope they knew better. Eventually, she submitted a corrected application and it was accepted. I'm literally getting emotional. I'm so excited. 
Olivia is no longer enrolled at the University of Southern California. In August 2019, an anonymous source told ET that she was not going back. They also said that she never wanted to attend USC in the first place. Olivia knows it's not the place for her. A couple of weeks later, the USC registrar confirmed that Olivia and her sister Isabella are not enrolled at all. Olivia has stayed out of the media since then. She returned to YouTube in December of 2019. And as much as I wish I could talk about all of this... A couple of weeks later, she posted a makeup tutorial. As of this video, she hasn't posted anything since. She is actively posting on Instagram. She posted a photo with her boyfriend Jackson on Valentine's Day. We know it's going to be hard work to rebuild her image, but Olivia is well on her way. Who's your favorite social media influencer? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Things for more great content. See you next time.